Michigan State defeated the Nebraska Cornhuskers at the Breslin Center 88 to 72. Yes, every game is a must win at this point, but this one a little extra with Maryland and Wisconsin coming up. And with Matt McQuaid and Kenny Goins in early foul trouble, it became a freshman takeover again with three of them in double digit points, including Miles Bridges and Nick Nord with 20 each. But Cassius Winston told us after, who had seven points, eight assists, and zero turnovers, he had 14 in the past four games, he told us little plays like steals and assists turn into runs. They ended the first half to, on a 15 to five run, and he says that's what springboarded them to the big win. Uh, just little things, you know, Josh getting on a loose ball or somebody making a big block and then we go down and make a play, you know, that, all that, those little, those little details, those little things that it really took us a while to learn that the, the little plays like that can start a 12-0 run like it's nothing. Yes, Tom Izzo loves what they're doing offensively, but defensively, he needs them to play like sophomores. And it's a lot of flailing around an offense that he loves, but a lot of standing around on defense, and that's something that needs to change if they want to be successful going forward. The problem is, still, when we have those freshmen in there, especially those guards, we sometimes really struggle defensively, and uh, that's where they both got to improve if we're going to become a real good team yet. Now, although Josh Langford saw 35 free throw attempts as a positive thing, shows they're aggressive getting to the hoop. Tom Izzo said it was a sloppy game, didn't like all the whistles, but this is the most the Spartans have had in the last five games. On top of that, they were two away from their most free throw attempts when they had 37 against Oakland. That's gonna have to change their game. They're not shooting as many threes. They had four today. So getting to the line is a whole nother way for this team to score. I think it's a great thing. It just shows that, that we know we have to be more aggressive. And, you know, we say we have to be more aggressive, especially with E being out, and you know, that's what we did. Josh Langford epitomized the Spartans' aggressiveness on the offensive glass. They outscored Nebraska in the paint 42-28. to And he's actually coming to his own in Michigan State, becoming more aggressive, driving to the hoop, taking those deep two-pointers. And he owes a lot of it to his talks with Coach Izzo. Just telling me to, to be more aggressive, you know, and just be aggressive. Not necessarily be aggressive, you know, offensively, but be aggressive, you know, defensively and just bring some energy, bring some, you know, some more passion, you know, just have more emotion. You know, that's what I feel like what it means by aggressive. And I feel like, you know, I did a pretty good job with it tonight. Tom Izzo is pleased with the blowout win, but at this point with Aaron Harris out, there is no reason to be comfortable at this point in the season. I thought we were running pretty good. I, I thought we rebounded pretty good in that stretch. And so when you rebound pretty good, you can get your running game going. We hit three threes, I believe, in that stretch. I don't know if it ever looked pretty. I didn't think, I thought we did some good things. I thought we made some poor decisions. We didn't turn it over as much, which is a plus for us. But we, uh, we still have our moments when, you know, it's a bad shot or it's, I don't know. I, I, I should feel better about it than I do, but then again, Maybe I shouldn't. The true test for Michigan State without Harris and the freshman taking over will be against Wisconsin this Sunday, senior night. They'll be celebrating Alvin Ellis, Aaron Harris, and Matt Van Dyke that night.